Hey, hey everybody, Beardo Dude back with a new series of Let's Plays Permadeath style in Stone Shard. This time we're doing a challenge run with Arna the Shovel Knight. Before we get started, make sure to hit like and subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. And there's a link to my Streamlabs if you're feeling generous. It all really helps support the channel. All right, we are back. Oh wait, let's get a ring first. I tried to start this one up, but the main person I would buy my primary weapon from, Bert, is stolen. And if you are unaware by the title or thumbnail, the purpose of this run, it is a challenge run. We are going to try to run with the shovel. The shovel does 14 crushing damage as well as allowing you to... Um, basically dig graves very easily so we're gonna roll with that and go and do the normal grabbing loot and whatnot I figured Arna is probably the best she's very defensive type character uh, so she should be able to hold her own in this challenge what else we got yeah okay Thing. Yeah, and so I am going to see how much we need to use the crossbow <laughs> Normally I would play it as like a secondary weapon anyways regardless of what we're doing So hopefully, you know early on if we're kind of relying on it you guys won't give me too much uh, too much guff Too much grief on using it I'm not going to rely on it the entire run because then I might as well just do a range build. We're not going to put any points into... Sure, I get it. Yeah, we're not going to put any points into uh, ranged or anything else. This is purely combat mastering athletics. Uh, and this is a bit inspired just, you know, discussions on... Uh... Oh, we got to equip the ring, man. Uh, discussions on the discord and then of course the legendary poison eye uh, ghoul 160 on YouTube um, he did a shovel run against the troll he got all the way to level 17 but having talked to him about it I don't think that I need to get that high level I think we could probably do it with much less and if you're wondering where I get where I'm getting this stuff from, I bought I actually um, during one of the recent uh, Steam I think it was the Steam Summer Sale just because I enjoy the game so much and obviously you guys can tell by the channel how much I play it. I figured you know what I'll get the supporter pack, you know a couple piece, starter pieces of equipment. I don't think it's too big of a deal. Hopefully, you guys don't have a problem with me starting with those. Um, Especially because her armor's broken starting off is gonna be a huge pain to try to repair. I'm actually curious. So we've got Oh, you only get four gold for that. Huh. The apprentice robe looks cool. I never try to use it though. Um Let's see how much it's going to cost to repair. Because maybe we could just go hunting on this first one or do some easy stuff. Because obviously we need the crossbow. We're not going to be able to hunt with the shovel. Maybe once we get dash and stuff we can try. Uh, let's see how bad is this. 632. So we're actually not too far off. Um, it almost makes me want to hold off on getting equipment, though I am also tempted to get some more starter gear. So if this thing is busted for a bit, um, it's not that big a deal. Although the more we use it, the more it's going to cost to fix. So let's look. Could get the leather vest to start with. Uh, we definitely want to get some boots. We don't need super crazy boots, though. Even the riding boots are decent, and we want some gloves. So let's let's get some of the standard type equipment here, and we have enough for this. So we'll use the leather vest for now, and we can even get a leather belt. Footman girdles out of out of reach for us at the moment. Um, you can also, if you don't want to do that, you can go and. Uh, 
buy a bottle of brandy and trade it to the drunk up here and he'll give you the fang, uh, fang amulet for you know, well not for free for the bottle of brandy but it's also an option that you have for starting off the game I think I still need to go and grab Ooh, free apple don't forget about the free apple here guys very important um, I think we forgot about the bow if we had grabbed the bow we probably would have had enough to repair the armor so let's see we'll have to save up 600 I'm not sure if I want to try to be bold enough to go after the first dungeon or right. yeah we got to sell those That'll give us some money. Let's see. We're probably going to want to make sure we're well stocked on medical supplies and stuff as well. So maybe that's where the last of our money is going to go. Um, at least to get started. What did I? Oh, yeah. I need to go sell to Mr. Carpenter over here. So yeah, I mean, I, I'm pretty excited for Way Forward. I was thinking of trying to play a bunch of other games, which I still might intersperse other games and kind of draw this out. Uh, we're not going for like a level 15 build on this. I think, let's see, let's look at what we kind of want to do, the lay of the land. So no point in getting any weapon skills, no point in dual wielding or pyro or geo. So we're basically going to be sticking in here. Although I didn't realize that Arna does not start with athletics it probably would have been better to pick somebody that started with both but we still love our lady Arna so you know what we'll go heavy on the heavy on combat mastery to start and then we really got to hope that we can find a treaties or get enough money to buy uh, athletics one worst case we can buy it from Bert we really need mighty kick uh, to handle the dungeons, so we probably are going to have to do a bit of hunting or at least go scope out the uh, points of interest so let's uh, oh yeah so we were going to look basically we want to get mighty kick and elusiveness then we'll get sudden lunge no time to linger leg sweep we can get peak performance and adrenaline rush I think those are kind of optional disengage eh we don't really need oh wait no we probably want dash right dash and sprint training maybe and then for combat mastery hmm we don't need setup I don't think we'll get set up that's really good for spears uh, so you'll do stance training we could uh, the main one we're trying to get here in combat mastery is right on target which seems like Come on, Beardo. They're, you're using a two-handed weapon. A shovel is a two-handed weapon. Well, they didn't code it so that the shovel's counted as a two-handed weapon. Right on target actually fits in with um, with using a shovel for whatever reason. So as long as that bug exists, we'll exploit it. And they're not likely to do a hot patch any anytime soon. So we'll... Uh, We'll kind of keep that in mind. I want to try to keep it probably to level 10 and then see if we can take on the troll. So we'll keep, we'll, we'll think on it a bit more. War cry would be nice, but really the main, so we need one, two, three, four to get right on target. These aren't that great. Opportune moment. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's kind of useful for reducing cooldowns, but we're really not going to be too heavy on skills other than some of the athletics ones war cry might be nice you might want to dig a point into war cry i had a lot of fun with that on my last playthrough uh athletics we definitely need mighty kick we want sudden lunge and leg sweep as main uh attack skills and then i mean the, all the ones down here they're really if you guys listen to my the podcast with darley with darley llama um we really weren't very impressed by the end of these. I mean, once you get to an adrenaline rush, you can augment adrenaline rush, but there's a, you can see it's 120 turn cooldown for a for adrenaline rush. So, all right, let's see. 
All right, hopefully we got the, you know, if we get the the weak sauce and one uh, and a dungeon, I, I actually don't have much of a problem with that. Otherwise, these are surprisingly sparse on uh, forest areas, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So on the lower end of points of interest. Catacombs is super far, but the crypt is kind of close. We probably could have even just gotten a free shovel there. But I think what we'll do for today is we'll go hit up these two points of interest, see what we find. If we're lucky, we'll find the ruined manor. Uh, I almost kind of doubt it, but we can see. All right, we've got 84, so we'll go to the herbalist. Always a good idea to stock up on medical supplies regardless especially if you're doing a permadeath run you don't want to be caught bleeding with no bandage or trying to run run away on a broken leg so we do have a bandage i do like to keep leeches healing salve although we're already running low on money so we'll get one more bandage because we'll be running into wolves more than likely and they really like to uh, stack the bleeds on you if they get the chance. So we do have CZ initiative. We do have defensive tactics. So hopefully that's enough. Let's see. I forget how much Bert would charge us for the first athletics treaties. I probably should have done this as Velmir. But it just felt so much more right to do it with, uh, to do it with Arna. Do they have a level one on here? Okay, so about 500 if we can find it. It's not unreasonable. It still sucks, though. It would have been nice if that... I, I should have... Well, to be honest, I made up my mind before I even... Like, as soon as it was, like, Shovel Knight, I was like, Arna. Because she's the Maiden Knight. So Shovel Knight, Maiden Knight, you know. It flows well together. So... Let's go out into the wild. Yeah, I mean, uh, I was going to need the crossbow regardless to do hunting. So hopefully you guys are not going to rail on me too hard. We're going to have the crossbow either way. So even though the penny buns aren't really that great anymore since they since they nerfed them I still kind of pick them up early game until we start getting like a stockpile of meat another tip uh, you're gonna want to keep your your meat in a storage container and not so much on your person uh, and the reason for this is the game will basically add time to the what do you call it like the expiration of your food if it's on your person but if you put it in the chest in the inn then you're fine okay it looks like oh wait let's see I have never really tested hey. oh he saw me from what I understood you should be able to shout at the deer and they like come to you okay so we got our first camp we got our first enemy which is a spearman Whiffed it. Got one. I want to switch. Okay, come on, man. Oh, I pressed one. Oh, we should have done defensive tactics, too. Alright, so definitely more rush. Uh, more uh, rough kind of start here. So hopefully we can get a hit on him or two. No, we whiffed it again. Okay, don't mess up the season initiative. Sound like we, uh... Oh, he's bleeding, so that's good. Alright, not not terrible. We probably want to run away and heal up. In case there's a third guy. Third and or fourth. Hopefully we get a chest. Ah, oh, man, I didn't have my freaking bow out. Oh, I ran away. Dang. Oh, well. That would have been a good chance. I guess it was drawn in by all the uh, fighting. 
Oh, it's just the two of them? Oh, and we did get a chest one. So, if you really want to, you can... Ah, oh, come on. You can save scum. Basically reload the game. It is a bit dangerous in that if you reload, there's a high chance that uh, you can have like bandits and stuff in the camp when you reload. But... We're just going to go with the bolt of cloth, and it'll give us some money. We still got the loaves of bread. We got our water. We'll try. Let's get to the daytime so you guys don't have to stare at a dark screen. And, of course, we're hungry and thirsty. That's how it goes. Yeah, see, back in the day, that would be enough. How hungry are we? Oh, we're super hungry. Oh, that's not good. Oh, we still got the apple, too. Let's eat the apple. Oh, come on, for real? Why do y'all got to do this to me? No, stay. Oh, bleeding. Please die. Please die as you're bleeding out. Nope, I think it's bleed is done. Dang. I hate to waste crossbow bolts on them too. These trees are not very favorable. Oh, nice shot. All right, definitely get that. All right, you can run away, I don't care. All right, well that'll help with the hunger and we'll move on to the other point of interest. Hopefully it's something good. Anything, I mean, we don't really want the Hermit's Hut. We don't need the backpack as much anymore. As much at this point of the game. So, hopefully we get some more random encounters. But yeah, primary weapon, shovel. Honor the Shovel Knight. I hope you guys like it. Definitely challenging. Ah, oh, come on. Oh, we got him. Oh, and he's an idiot. Oh, that means there's probably wolves down there. No! Why do we gotta whiff so much? I didn't even whiff that much with the bow. Come on. Yes! Got another one. Got that 5 XP. That's what I'm talking about. Alright, so... Alright, let's continue on. Got some more meat. Let's see where is it so go one over grab some penny buns it's almost worth it just to snack on them as you find them rather than letting them take up your inventory space they used to be such a good source of food you could just live off of mushrooms but for whatever reason the powers that be decided to nerf them so here we are I guess we could hunt around the tiles and see if we can find some um, some wolves or something a little bit more interesting. Wolves are a great source of XP early game. Just look around until we see a bear, then we then we run away. I did somewhat regret not trying to take on a bear. On my Varen playthrough. But you know. Oh there we go. Oh we got a good knockback on that. We're gonna. I wonder if there's some logic to that. Like wolves are bigger targets or something. And that's why you can kind of get that hit on them. He's like right out of range. There we go. Dang, another knockback. Epic. Especially how badly we were missing before. Ooh. It's gonna get a hit on us. Whack him down with the shovel. Alright, it seemed like there were only two. I think that's enough. We can move on. Move on down a tile. To get a little bit more meat. Yeah, I think that's it for now. 
I think we're gonna be limited on bolts too. Yeah, we're already down to 10. Although I probably missed some. You guys will probably leave comments saying, you missed all those bolts. Ah, we whiffed it. Yeah, one shot, Arna. Oh, and they ran back too. I hate when they do that and I'm like, oh, I already moved forward a bunch. Oh, there we go. That's a favorable situation. How can I get the... Yeah, run back. Did it... Oh, I was like, did it just, like, disappear? Dang it. That was favorable. Until that happened. We got a crit there. Another crit. Oh, it died on its own anyways. Oh, there's another wolf, though. Oh, he's in range. Nice. No knockback this time, though. Oh, I should have known he was going to do that. Gutter. Blocking is, uh... It's interesting how uh, this has been panning out. Alright, let's make some room. Crowns are precious to us. As we are in dire need of Athletics 1. Before we even think, conceive the idea of going to the dungeon. Okay, we're already running out. Yeah, we're pretty much out of inventory space. We'll uh, we'll make room if something good comes along. Yeah, what's with all these two wolf wolf packs? And if we had more space, we could eat the the rhubarb's always good. Let's eat that real quick. You want to check out rhubarb because it has uh, hunger resistance. Pretty uh, substantial. Just for 30... Oh, where, does, where is he? I heard him. Oh, wait. He had the wrong... No! Alright, well... If there was a hedgehog, he's long gone. There's another rhubarb. You just have to be careful for intoxication. And I know that pelts aren't really high value, but that's kind of where we're at in the game right now. Oh, there's some more wolves. Oh, he's in range. Oh, he's like in range, but he's not in range. No, I know he's going to like pop up somewhere. Where is he? There he goes. Is he in range? Oh, sweet. Oh, he is, but he isn't. We'll get that going. All right, switch. Cause he's about to. Oh. Oh, come on. That was nasty. We already in pain, and for whatever reason, Arna does not start with any alcohol. She is a lightweight, so. Oh, we can't even rest if they're that close. Okay. I don't think they're going to be able to jump me here. Restoration's so low at this early stage in the game. Okay. Mr. Wolf's just sitting there. He doesn't know what's going on. He's thinking through his life choices. Realizing he shouldn't mess with Arna. Alright, switch. Come on. There we go. That's the ticket. Alright, do we want to drop on these? They're all 50. I remember when the wolf pellet used to be worth more. I'm just saying. Oh, Mr. Squirrel. You're the most valuable. I think there's at least one more wolf. He's probably going to pop up out of nowhere. No? I don't see him. I think we still have to go down one more to get to the point of interest. All right, we'll rest right here. We have, not that we can really see everything, but oh, we could heal up. Let's do the leeches. We've got it, why not use it? Although I think the leeches actually increase pain. But not a big deal. Alright. 
We're full up. We'll nosh on the rest of the bread. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. So if we see an actual. Nope. We got some creepy music. So. Ruin Manor. Probably Hermit's Hut. Oh, looks like Ruin Manor. Now, this is good and bad. There is a pretty high chance that you get these morons coming back which we might actually you know let's take this stuff we'll go back and then we'll come back there's no reason to rush this area we can cook the food store the food clear up our inventory then come back um i'm probably gonna <laughs> reload if those guys spawn so don't uh, don't judge me it is a tactic that you can take in the situation you're not going for the high road in permadeath you're really just going for the i don't want to die road and we are early on in it but it would suck if we get some oh seriously was that an ambush or was that just an enemy i think it's just an enemy I can't imagine getting ambushed when I'm not even on the road. Come on, man. Get them crits. Alright, we got a level, too. Oh, buddy's coming. Lumpy head! My favorite! Alright, we did lose. Aw, oh, come on, man. That's not cool. Don't stone lock us, please. Alright. Just two of them? Alright, let's hope we don't get ambushed running across here. Okay. Well, we got a level. So, there's that. That's nice. We'll boost up our strength. I'm thinking of just... We'll just hold on to the uh, ability point. Why waste it? All right, that was going down. So it should be the farm. Cool. Yeah, we'll run back uh, here. Then we'll go take a quick trip to the uh, Ruin Manor. And then we'll probably call this, you know, successful run for the day. All right, we got everything that we could. Yeah, it's always good, like, uh, if you get the... the the uh, fatty meat just put it in the in the in the hotel or the tavern I mean because then you know whenever you wake up you usually have like 35 40 or even more hunger so just kind of makes sense usually first thing you want to do too we can look at it but I'm pretty sure all this stuff come on lady get out the way can't you see I'm Arna all right, so we still got three days three days yeah, everything with oh, two days for the that's pretty standard for those all right let's go we'll sell the cloth and the plate I think it's a plate or bowl whatever the heck it is we'll sell those to Bertram here it's a plate not bad it might even be enough to get athletics one but but we actually I totally blanked on this the uh, and it might be a reason why we actually save scum the ruin manor there is a chance to get athletics treaties one from the ruin manor which is another reason why I was kind of hoping that we we're gonna find it aside from it's probably like one of the best ones to find early on other than the fact that you can you know have a chance to spawn the bad guys uh, oh, we should have brought some food. Come on. Come on, Beardo. Can bring the sinewy meat. That should be good enough. Oh, excuse me, guys. Sorry. Alright. We'll get those strength points. Yeah, we'll wait so we can get athletics. 
Unless we have athletics, I think we would be cool to go run the first dungeon. I'm really almost not even that concerned about it. And I'll show you guys why you want Mighty Cake in this kind of situation. It is a really strong first skill to have, especially for dungeons. Um, because you can ascend the, the high percentage knockback, which I think it's like 70% starting off. Which, uh, wait, I could, I could be eating my words here. What does it say? 54% chance. It's, uh, I think it's 50 and then it's modified on strength or agility. What does it say on here? Oh, it doesn't even tell you. You guys could look it up on the wiki. I think it's based, it's a percentage modifier based on your, I, I want to say agility. So, I mean, if you're leveling your agility, you can get up to like 70, 80% chance of knockback. 50-50 is still pretty good. I'm tipping a little bit over. Oh, we still had one more to cross. That's right. We just barely eked over. And this is definitely something that I do when I'm running permadeath. I don't try to be a hero and just run through the forest, the middle of the forest, because that's how you run into bears. Or worse yet, like a pack of wolves that just, they weren't in your line of sight until they're on top of you. I mean, permadeath is like a whole other beast than just a normal playthrough. I wouldn't even mind being more adventurous on a regular mode. But in permadeath, it's like a whole other deal. It's all about survival. And the more precautions you take, the higher rate or higher chance of survival you have. So that's why we're going the way that we're going here. Did we just drop. Dang, we're dropping food. Thanks, guys. Okay. So a couple things. Let's check out the weapon rack. Eh, we'll take it. Yeah, sometimes there's a weapon in there. It's weird they get the. I swear that's the troll music. I think I've said that before. Okay, so you get the boar's head here. Uh, you can turn that into the tavern. So we'll go. Let's go morning time. We got some food. We got new food even. Oh man, we're really that hungry? Jeez. That garlic really dried us out, huh? Alright, so we're gonna go see we already have combat mastery. I'm pretty sure you can get athletics from this thing. Yes! Perfect. So not even that many tries. Alright, so we are gonna sleep once more. Because the other thing you can uh save scum is the chest here. Now, I almost like to do it until you get a bear a bear pelt, because then you can get that quest already. So we're actually going to do that. And we have the space for it, because we cleared out. And then you do one more sleep. At least I'm pretty sure you can... I thought the chests roll on clicking on it. I don't think they pre... This is... Yeah. That plays random music in here. I like that song. Then the troll song gets me scared. I don't know about you guys. Come on. Seriously? Alright, sometimes you gotta do it that way. It is what it is. Eventually they're gonna have like a legit lock picking system. Okay, come on. But you also get the so you get the brandy, so you can finish that quest. You can get the bear pelt so you can finish that quest without actually finding a bear. There we go. That's what we were looking for. So let's clear off space. Bing, bang, boom. Got free money. Get a free amulet. We'll just take the purse. Uh, and then you'll want to save one more time because I think I think somebody said it's an 80% chance that they're out here, but the last like five times I've tried it, they weren't. Yep. 
I think it's way less than 80%. Mm -hmm. I think it might even be the inverse where it's like actually like 25% chance or like one of four. I guess I could look into it. I'm sure you guys uh, by now have seen my uh, loot mechanics video where I dug into the source code. If there's anything else that you guys are interested in as far as the source code goes, let me know. And uh, I'd be happy to check it out. Yep, we get Mighty Kick. Then we got two skills we can get um, if we still haven't gotten Combat Mastery 2 or Athletics 2. We'll play it by ear. I guess we could try to look for some trouble. We only got five bolts left. I need to eat and drink, but I don't have anything left to eat. So, it's kind of the main reason I'm just like, eh, I'll just slide on back to town. Maybe we can go a little bit above. Let's see if maybe there's something to fight. Because we already, yeah, we just barely got level two. Lots of birds. Oh, there's a deer. But it's already scared of us. Yeah, screw it. We'll go trade all this in. That's good news, too, because I thought we were going to have to spend money on the athletics treaties. So we are up. I think, actually, with all this, we could... Re let's, uh, let's see if we can repair our, uh, our main armor. Yeah, because we're not going dodge heavy on this. We're going we're going super defensive if we have the shield and if we have the shovel. No way am I trying to go dodge heavy. I really think like at this point in the game too, like the main reason you would go dodge heavy is dual wielding. Just because of the bonuses you can get from it. Oh, yeah, let's go turn in. We're hungry, but you know, we're not that hungry. You know, those iron ingots are good for the mancha quest. I already have two of those, so you can just uh, put those in storage. I wouldn't sell those. What you selling, man? Oh, no, wrong one. I got a quote. You got work for me? This will also give you reputation, so you'll get up to uh, Amity level faster. I think at that point, you only have to do... Um, what, like, probably two quests... And if we can get a bunch of Falchions and uh, Battle Cleavers to give to, uh, I think, Jebar, right? That's Jebar. Yeah. Ooh, we got nine. Yeah, we're definitely getting our... Got to restore the uh, Verdine. I think Verdine, right? Verdine, uh, family name. Yeah. Dervine. Der Dervern. Dervern? Don't judge me, guys. Okay. All right, here, and you can have your your thing too. Give me, give me some drink. Dark ale. Is that what the? Is that what it's called? Oh, I thought it was just called ale. I didn't even realize it's called dark ale. All right. Well, she's a lightweight, so. Sorry to call you out, Arna, but truth is the truth. Oh, we gotta try to shamble. There we go. Um, yeah, let's let's do that then. Perfect run, perfect run, guys. Six thirty-two. We still got money left. And put that on. Oh, we could sell. I'm not even gonna check what that axe is. If you have unidentified equipment, you can just give it to him. Let's see. We got three thirty-seven. That's not bad. We got like 60 or 70. Let's sell the bow. Yeah, man. Great first run. Probably one of the better ones I've done. Considering we're using. Oh, yeah. And you can sell. I mean, you can sell the silver nuggets to Burt. But you can also. I think it's pretty comparable if you sell them to Jebar here. Okay, he wants 48. That's still pretty good. Yeah, 552. I'll drop off these gaming dice to Bert. And we'll call it a day. I hope you guys have fun. Uh, 
we'll definitely uh yeah we'll hold on to that athletic we get a little bit more once we get to Manchester. i think you sell for 40 instead of 25 but yeah i hope you guys have fun with this so far we're definitely going to dig into it more you'll see more combat wise oh well yeah i'll go sell that leather vest too um We'll see more combat wise in the next video. We're gonna head to the first dungeon. I'll probably pick up a little bit more supplies here since we're pretty, pretty flush with cash. And uh, yeah, see how we do in the dungeons with the shovel. It was a little bit rough, uh, not gonna lie, but I think we should be able to hold our own. So we definitely won't be using the crossbow in the dungeon. It's just not practical either way, so. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the bell notification, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.